Sometimes as you're working with a portrait, you may want to gently reshape the face. Now, this can be very subjective and not everyone is comfortable with these types of changes. I always recommend a very gentle touch if you're going to do this. Sometimes the lens is the culprit here. Maybe it's a wide angle lens or you got too close to the subject and it's just sort of flattening or distorting the face. Other times it could be the angle and sometimes it's just the subject itself. If you hand the image off to Photoshop, this is a pretty easy fix. Let's select this image we fixed earlier where we fixed the teeth. If not, you could just use the same photo here. What we're gonna do is hand this off to Photoshop. So I'll choose Photo, Edit In, Open as a Smart Object in Photoshop. What this is going to do is hand the image off to Photoshop and transfer all of the Lightroom edits. It nests those into the Photoshop layer non-destructively. Now we can edit in Photoshop and then return that image to Lightroom. You see that the image is opened up and indicated there as a smart object. Let's go ahead and choose Filter, Liquify. Now, Liquify will attempt to automatically recognize the face. What we can do now is gently pull. Notice how we can slim the face and shape the jaw a little bit. Additionally, it'll find other parts of the photo so we could adjust the smile, maybe giving it a little gentle curve. And you see how we can make adjustments. If we needed to here, we can also adjust the eyes to make them just a little bit brighter. We open those up slightly. Notice here, it's really quite interesting what you can do. The key though is to be subtle. So try to not be too aggressive as you make these changes. As you look at this, you could see the overall changes being applied. Notice how there's also sliders here, so we can adjust. If we wanna broaden the smile just a little bit, or maybe gently adjust the chin height. When you're all set and you click OK, the new results are rendered to the image. We could toggle that on and off to see the change, and the key here is to be subtle. When you're satisfied with the results, simply close the document and choose Save. When you return to Lightroom, the image is automatically placed into your library next to the original. You'll see there's our original photo, and there's the adjusted one as the TIFF. With that subtle change there, we were able to compensate for some of the lens distortion and just make a slight improvement to the overall shape of the face. Again, the key here is only do this with your subject's permission and don't overdo it. You're going to want to use a gentle hand as you retouch so it still retains a natural look.